Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. We're going to get straight into the top 10 of the most rare and valuable 50p coins that you can find in your change. And do stay tuned to the end of the video. I've got some pro tips for you. I'm going to tell you how we do it and give you some hints and tips and tricks of the best way to find the rare and valuable UK coins. So let's get into it. Starting at number 10, we've got the Isaac Newton coin. A lot of people's favourite design this. Made in 2017. 1.8 million were minted and worth about £3. And if you find that, I certainly recommend that you keep hold of it because it'll go up in value, I'm sure, because it's say a lot of people's favourite coin. This is currently worth about £3 as well. This is Olympic tennis, part of the 2011 set, 29 coins in total. And this one, three, maybe it's even £4 worth. The next two coins both came out in 2018, both part of the Beatrix Potter set. This is Peter Rabbit, just 1.4 million minted alongside this one as well. Only 1.4 million of these coins were minted, the Flopsy Bunny. So I certainly absolutely recommend you keep hold of these. Worth about £5 each and certainly going to go up in value as time goes on. Another Olympic for you, this is Olympic Wrestling. Now just over 1.1 million of these were circulated. But still available to find in your change. Lady M and I have found a number of these in our coin hunts. This is one that we found that we got for its face value of 50 pence. And uh, if you find that, you're looking at about £8 at the minute. Another Beatrix Potter coin. This is 2016's Puddle Duck. 2.1 million mintage. So it's actually a higher mintage than the, uh, the, uh, all the other previous coins you've seen. But value-wise, it's desirable. And around about £8 you would get for that. Into the top four. Another Olympic, this is Olympic Judo. Again, a lot of people's favourite uh, favorite design, 2011. If you find it, keep hold of it, like all the other ones. Or if you want to turn it around for a quick buck, then you're probably looking at about £10 worth of value. Same with this one. Another Olympic and another one at uh, around about 1.1 million made. This is Triathlon. Stunning coin, lovely design with the three different sports of Triathlon there. And uh, yeah, £10 worth. Two left, top two in the silver medal position. We've got the offside rule, Olympic football. Desirable list, again, because just over a million minted, and I think because football is popular, it adds a little bit of extra value to it. And if you got this, it's worth around about £15. And the, the top of the shop, the top of the pops, top find, is the Kew Gardens. So this is a 2009 coin. Current value, £160. So even in circulated condition like this one, so Lady M and I found this in a coin hunt on our coin hunting videos. And it's £160 worth of coin. Now, it kind of fluctuates a little bit. I've seen this go for as much as £200. And maybe it's no lower than £150. But current value is £160. So that's the top 10. So if you've got any of these in your change, then you absolutely want to keep hold of them or if you want to make a quick buck and uh, and sell them on then you can do that as well and as promised i've got some pro tips for you i've got five let's get straight into them right pro tip number one only the hardcore collectors know know about this and these coins that you see here look like the standard 50 pence that's been issued into circulation from 2008 they've got the matthew dent shield design on there but there's a number of years, so if you flip them over and have a look at the, at the other side, the Queen's side, they've got a year of issue on. Now, there's a number of years that were only issued in commemorative packs, so they were not issued in a standard and general circulation, and you're able to find these in, in your change. Now, the years, you're looking for the years 2009, 2010, 2011, 2016, 2018, and also keep an eye out for 2020 and 2021 because it's most likely that they won't enter circulation either. Now, these coins, the, it's only the hardened collectors will know uh, that these coins are the ones to look out for. People do buy them, do get them as gifts, or um, decide that they no longer want to collect coins after having a collection for a number of years. And they open up the commemorative packs or an annual set, the ones that include these, uh, these shield designs in, and just spend them. Now, the minimum, the absolute minimum you're going to get for one of these coins is £20, and that's if it's been heavily circulated and if it's not in very good condition. You can pay upwards of £100 for one of these years. The, the 2016 and the 2018 are particularly desirable, but all of them are valuable. All of them are worth more than all of the other coins 
uh, that you can get in, in standard circulation. So well worth looking out for. And if you find one of these, yes, you can make a quick book if you want to turn it around and sell it. But if you find one of these, I suggest you keep hold of it because it will only increase in value. The, the circulation uh, figures for these would be nil and you might get in and around 40 or 50,000 that were only made full stop. But they are there. We found them ourselves. Lady M and I, we do regular coin hunts on our videos and we found a, a number of these not intended for circulation coins. Okay, pro tip number two, do your research. So do a little bit of digging, a little bit of fact finding so that you know what rare and valuable coins to look out for. There's not just 50 Ps, there's, there's 10 Ps, there's two pound coins, there's, there's world coins, there's a whole range of coins out there that are worth, uh, worth more than the face value that's printed on them. And you need to know what it is that you're, you're looking for. So there's a number of coin channels on YouTube. We are one of them, Bungle Collect, so please do subscribe if you haven't already and we upload at least twice and sometimes three and four times a week. There is Coins to Collect, Caledonian Coins, Coin Cupboard and Christopher Collects. Now them four guys, highly recommend them four. They'll give you a nice broad range of coin collecting, uh, coin hunting, when the new coins come out and general chat and knowledge in and around the subject. Highly recommend them, them four guys. There's another guy called Absolute Coins. So if you want a little bit more information, about say maybe the new coins that are released, then Al really digs deep and he'll buy all the coins that have, have come out, um, not for circulation, but by the Royal Mint for commemorative packs and not just the Royal Mint either, there's other mints uh, in, 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 in the UK and around the world as well. And he does a deep dive into what, uh, what, what, what them coins are about, what, why they may be released and the information, information around them. If you're looking to buy some coins, then there's UK Coin Hunt, the UK Coin Hunt has his own YouTube channel and his website as well, where he'll sell the coins that he finds in coin hunts. And then we've got two other channels, which I highly recommend. Uh, one is Laughter, L-A-F-T-A. -A. Um, if you search for Laughter, then Laughter is the encyclopedia of the coin world. He knows uh, what Laughter doesn't know probably isn't worth knowing. He has a broad range of knowledge about UK and world coins. He hunts through coins himself. He also uh, uploads videos like this where he'll give you information about rare and valuable ones and the ones to look out for. And he's just generally uh, a, a, the fountain of all knowledge and I highly recommend you go over and subscribe to Laughter. The last channel that I want to recommend, and there's plenty out there, don't get me wrong, um, plenty of, uh, have been going a while and relatively new. It's, it's, it's a great community. There's loads of information out there on YouTube, but I want to recommend Master Temple's Treasures. So Master Temple, what he does, he actually does coin... They're not coin hunts, they are coin raids. He raids tills, so he'll go in into his shops and he'll ask if they've got any pitcher coins uh, and he then comes back and, and videos and shows you what coins he's been given in shops. He's also got some other content on there, which is, uh, I don't want to spoil it, but well worth going over to find Master Temple's treasures. Outside of YouTube, so I use uh, an app on my phone called Check Your Change. I pay 3 99 I think it is a year. It might be a little bit more than that now, it might be 4 99 and what they do, they've got every UK coin on there, including the, what, some of the ones that you can only get from the Royal Mint. And the app is free, so you can log which, which coins that you have got and which you know, coins that you still need to collect. But at the same time, if you pay that, subscri that annual subscription, then they also give you the approximate values of them coins as well. I got a lot of the values for this video from, from, that, uh, from that resource. So I do highly recommend that app. They've also, you can go, go straight onto the, on, via the internet to their webpage rather than having an app. And, if you're not uh, maybe someone who likes to, to store it on your phone or uh, the electronic version, I can recommend this. It's the 50p guide. This is the 2021 version. I'll show you just a little bit closer there. It's Andrew Coins UK. Andrew's Coins UK. Email address on there as well. So I'm not, I'm not getting paid for this. I buy this, I buy this, this every, every year. So I mean, if he wants to bum me a few quid for a little plug, then absolutely feel free. <laughs> um, but this is, this is a great resource. So this has got every 50p that you can find, and it also includes the, the territories. So, so not just the coins you find in UK circulation, the ones that you can get from the territories. So the, the, the Crown Dependencies, the Isle of Man, Jersey, Gibraltar, things like that. So I think you get this, I'm sure these are on eBay. They're around about four, five, six pounds, something like that. Nice glossy, you can tick them off as you go. So highly recommend that. So that's pro tip number two, do your research so you know what you're looking for. Pro tip number three, where do you buy coins? So I did mention UK Coin Hunt, you can buy a use in UK Coin Hunt's website. The other places I would recommend, I would highly recommend are Facebook groups, Facebook coin selling groups. Now a note of caution here, 
Um, I, I'm going to recommend, but I only recommend them because I've been in them for a while and I've used both these these um, groups myself to to buy to buy to buy coins. I haven't sold any coins. I don't send, sell too many, but these are the ones that I use to to, to buy from. And I recommend you join the groups. You kind of hang around for a few weeks to, to, to get to know what's what because it, there's always a risk where someone will, will scam you and you'll buy your coin and they won't send them out. That is the risk of, of using a Facebook group. But I found that these two groups, um, they're very good. They're very, the, the, ad, the admins on there are very good as well. And also they have a, a system where they can, they can vouch for people that have sold coins previously. So they've been going a long time and they have established people who sell regularly and other sellers and buyers can then vouch for them. Uh, and that gives you that little bit of extra, that little bit of extra protection as well. So there's two groups that I use on Facebook: coins, coins, coins. Dead straightforward. And this other one now, I need, now I need to write this down because this other one that I, that I use the most has got the longest title in there. It's called the UK Coin Community, and then in brackets, coins, notes, and precious metals. So it definitely is a is a it's a bit of a mouthful, but I do recommend going over there um, and uh, checking that out and seeing if you can you can buy some coins. Um, now the advantage of the Facebook groups is that they, they're reasonably priced and of course the sellers aren't paying any fees so you tend to try and get you know you tend to get coins there that are, that, that are good that are good value the other place of course is eBay you can buy pretty much everything there off eBay uh, so check that out have a look but be really careful with eBay sometimes the price are ridiculous make sure you've done your research like I, like I, I said in the previous tip don't go crazy um, but yeah, have a good look around eBay. You tend to pay a little bit more maybe because the sellers have got see, uh, fees to pay, but of course the, uh, you do get the odd bargain as well if you, if you do your research and you're there and, uh, and really kind of dig deep in, in eBay. Pro tip number four, where would you sell coins? Well, again, you've got the Facebook selling group. Uh, so if, you, if you've joined them to the, the, the two groups that I mentioned, you can sell coins as, as well. Um, gives you access to, to that community. Uh, that's one option. eBay is another one. I do absolutely do not recommend Gumtree for this. The, I have used Gumtree to sell other items, not coins. And if you are going to use Gumtree, then certainly don't put your mobile number on there. You'll get spammed by various people through WhatsApp or through a text message. So if you are going to sell, just do it by online chat. But no, I, I absolutely would not recommend selling coins through, through Gumtree. St again, stick online stick through your Facebook groups or for the ultimate safety eBay, but of course they've got their fees, so you're not gonna get as much as you would um, sell them in by, by other means. Okay, fifth and final tip. This is um, do coin hunting yourself. So this is what Lady M and I do. So we have our own channel, Bungle Collects. So again, don't forget to stick, uh, stick a like on this video for us and go and subscribe to the channel. We upload at least two videos a week. We hunt through 50p coins and two pound coins. We tend to live stream most weekends. And also I've got my, uh, at the minute, at the time of filming, I'm uploading a solo series as well where I'm going through both 50p's and two pounds as well. So yes, do follow us. Now, how do we do it and what, what do we do? So we have a business account now where we can order coins from the bank. So we'll order a, ba a bag of 50 pences. So it's a 250 pound bag of 50 pences and a 500 pound bag of two pound coins. We uh, bring them home, we open them up and we film ourselves opening the, the coins and hopefully you guys will enjoy that content. And of course, any rare and valuable ones we find, we can then keep and uh, add to our collection, trying to get you know every single coin that you can, you can get in circulation into our albums. So that's how we, that's how we do it. Anybody can do it. You don't necessarily have to have a business account, although it is easier if you do if you do have one. And this is how we started out. So I started out with post offices. So I must have gone to a minimum of 20, maybe it's probably 30 post offices. I started near my house and just you know moved out as, as far as I could, went for miles around. And I went to the post office and explained that I was coin collecting. I also explained I was starting a, a, a YouTube channel where hopefully people would watch me. Uh, open up these coins and looking for the rare and valuable ones and I was able to I say at least 20 maybe 30 people I asked 28 people was a hard no because you're supposed to have a business account and a lot of people are doing it these days and it costs the post office money to to uh, facilitate you getting you getting change so 28 people were a flat no and I got lucky and two people said yes so this was a couple of years ago now uh, probably a little bit more difficult I, I would imagine and I got to the kit, got to the stage where I got, people got to know me. I told them the story, and I was able to. I started off with just a couple of bags. The first bag I ever got was was just one ten pound bag. That's all I got, and I was able to build it up. And then over time, uh, sometimes I'll get a, a two hundred and fifty pound bag, a full a full bag of fifty pences. And um, the post office that I've now been using for a long time, 
Um, there's times where I'll get hundreds and hundreds of pounds together. Uh, the, the last one, for example, I've got 800 pounds worth of two pound coins uh, out uh, all in one go and then hunted through them and, and uploaded them onto the channel. So it is, it is doable. Um, also try your own bank as well and maybe try different branches of your bank. So even if you don't have a business account, because you do get charged to have a business account and you get charged for taking the change in and out as well. Um, but some branches of, of particular banks will allow you to withdraw your own money in coins rather than rather than notes. Now this is really hit and miss. It's um, there's a, a number of banks that people will say there's absolutely no way you can do it, and then the other people will say that the exact same banks will allow you to do it. I very much think it depends on your branch. Um, yes, there's bank policy, but it very much depends on your branch. And I also think it's very much about how you ask as well. So before we had a business account for the first probably year of the channel, I had my personal bank account. I went into, my, into, into the bank. Uh, I explained what the situation was, what I was after. You've got to be honest. It's absolutely no point at all trying to hoodwink them. These guys know what's going on. And also they've got to be very careful that you're not money laundering as well, that you're not just trying to get money in and out of the banks to kind of hide some... Um, some criminal, potentially criminal activity. That might seem a little bit far-fetched, but trust me, the banks are highly regulated, so they're really on, uh, on, on point for that. So you've got to be honest, you've got to tell them what it is you're doing. And, and I struck gold, I, I, the, the, the same bank, two different branches, one was my, my local branch, got to know that the guys behind the counter and they were, they were giving me coins, this, that and the other. That then led me to conversations around other people that do it and other people who then went to, to a different branch of the same bank. I went in and I explained and, and, and I really struck gold. In the end, I was going in every week. I could even ring the order through, even give me the phone number for the, for the local branch. I'd ring on a Saturday morning, confirm where I wanted and then two hours later, I would go and go and pick it up as well. So, and then obviously come back and, and film the, the channel. Now it's more convenient for us to have a a, a, bit, a bank account now that we you know we regularly up, upload and so we've got maybe three thousand subscribers now. Uh, did I mention subscribing? Please do subscribe. I'd like to get to that three thousand mark. Um, so we turned it in. It came to a little bit more than a hobby. So that's where the the, the business account came in because we needed regular. Um, regular turns over in large amounts of it but there's no reason why you can't you can't do it and start off small My, the first bag I ever got uh, was it was in the Halifax bank at the time and I got 10 pound at all that's all they give me they'd only allow me a 10 pound bag of 50 pences and in there was a was an Isaac Newton coin and it was it really spurred me on and and then things grew from there and ended up with uh, with our own channel so do start off small it's the, it's the it's the thrill of looking for them to see whether you can find every coin to put in your album of course if you find a, a valuable one but my, my advice would be to keep all of it because i think it'll only go up in value but of course you where uh, you can sell them as well all right so that is my my five pro tips along with your your top 10 50p coins that you can find in your change if you did like this video please do hit the thumbs up it really helps us out and uh, do consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. All, everybody I've mentioned, all the other coin channels are all in the description below. Let me know in the comments if you found any rare and valuable coins. Let me know whether you're going to start looking after a result of, uh, of, of watching this video. If you want to reach out to us, you can email us, you can write to us in the PO box. We're on all the social medias and uh, yeah, please, please do so. It'd be nice to, to have you along. Come and watch some of our coin hunts or live streams. Okay, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.